Okay, so what I wanted to change now is the number of people. Mm -hmm. So here we have, say, um, looks like we're down to about 105 people left in our prior simulation. We started with 300, so that's a lot mm -hmm. of people who died. So it's a, a fully like two-thirds of them. So what if I instead start with only 150 people? What do you think is going to happen? I mean, it might be less, maybe less, less percentage of people die overall, maybe because the people aren't as closely packed together. Okay. So let's see. And there are people who just don't get infected. People yeah, so now this time we started, it looks like we started with 150, we're down to 60. Oh, so actually more people are well, about the same. It's about the same. Yeah. Now, one problem is, is we started with 10, we started with double the number of infections, though, because it's always, it's fixed at 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we could change that to start with 5 and start with the same percentage infected. Do you want to see what happens yeah, if we sure. do that? Okay, so here i got to modify the code. And for some reason it's not letting me scroll down to the code. Well, I'm not quite sure why. Um... Let me, uh, let's pause the video and uh, see what happens, see if we can get, fix the scrolling problem. Right.